Hey, it's the Iowa Prairie Girl along with Prairie Dog. There we are. And we are out hiking today along the uh, Shell Rock River on the green belt between Rock Falls and North Springs. And what we're looking for today are woodland wildflower ephemerals. So an ephemeral is a plant that blooms just for a short time. And that's what ephemeral means, it's for a short time. So we're looking for wildflowers that bloom on the uh, woods floor along with the leaf litter and they bloom before the trees leaf out. So they're taking advantage of the sun that's still on the forest floor before all those leaves come out. So plants that we've seen so far today, we've seen uh, the bloodroot are just coming to the end of their season. Uh, the bluebells are uh, just starting to show some purple. And I hope you can see what a beautiful trail I'm on here. It's along the river and it's just gorgeous. A lot of rocks and shell rock. Okay, so the bluebells are just starting to turn purple. Um, we've, there's a lot of fault, rue anemone blooming, and um, well, the plant that we are looking for today, oh, and the Dutchman britches, they are just starting to uh, hang out their laundry, so to speak. I just made that up. So the plant that we are looking for today, we want to talk about is cut leaf toothwort. Kind of a flower that you probably would walk right on by if you weren't paying attention. So it's just started to bloom here. Um, I know it's been blooming a little bit longer in southern Iowa, but it's just starting to pop out here in northern Iowa. So we're going to get down on the forest floor and take a look at cutleaf toothwort. So I hope you stick around. I wanted to start with why it's called toothwort. So toothwort, wart is an old English word uh, for plant. And there's several different reasons or explanations on why it's called toothwort. One could be that it has a very, um, the margin of the leaf is very toothed or dente. So that could be a reason why it's called toothwort. Another reason, if we look over here at the root system, you can see a, a, the sh a very shallow root system and it's kind of a tubular. And these uh, tubulars um, or tubes of the root system are edible and they have a peppery taste to them or could be a very uh, close relative to horseradish. Um, but they also have some little white projections on them that are tooth-like. My, my own explanation would be um, the, the petals of the flower, as you can see, are uh, white. And um, they could also kind of look like a tooth. So, toothwort. And then also, if you remember the doctrine of signature, that says that if whatever the plant looks like, that's what God must have made it or intended it to take care of. So, toothwort wart was used... Um, for toothaches. Just stay watching. We're going to talk a little bit more about the flower. All right. So one of the downfalls of the uh, ephemerals on the forest floor is you got to get down there to find them. So we found some toothwort uh, here on the, the floor. Where are you going? All right. Good girl. <laughs> so a lot of times toothwort, you will find it in large colonies. I have found some large colonies colonies here. Um, at the shell rock, but uh, I haven't found a lot of them that are blooming together. It's just started to bloom. So as you can see, it's got very small flowers and the flowers have four petals and they are white. And as they mature, they kind of turn a pinkish purple color. It also has four sepals on the back and that's kind of the little brackets that hold the flower together. And those are um, a light, real light green to almost a little purple in them. So the, the flower, just four petals, and they go across from each other. They actually kind of make a, a, a cross like to them. And then they have um, four or six, six yellow stamens in the middle. Now the thing that really distinguishes the toothwort, if you're out walking along in the spring and you see toothwort, what you're going to really notice is the leaf. So the leaves are opposite each other. They um, are palmated. As you can, if I can show that to you, they look like a palm, so that's palmated. Some people would say it kind of looks like a marijuana leaf. Um, so that's the toothwort leaf. So as I mentioned, they bloom early in the spring. They bloom from March to June. The flower itself, once it blooms, will only last for about four days. They do have a real peppery taste to them, I'm, I understand. And actually, I did try the leaves. They are edible. Um, they do have a real pungent um, peppery uh, taste. People like to put them in soup and salads. I didn't myself find it very pleasant. 
they're very they're supposedly very fragrant i don't smell them but uh i tried to smell but apparently they are fragrant and uh um a lot of insects like them we have had a lot of insects flying around here as we're down here um what the american uh indians used to use them for a little folklore they would uh um, pig tooth wart and they would either put it in their mouth or chew on it or put it in their pockets and that was supposed to be kind of a, a love potion. Now I would think that uh, maybe because they're fragrant maybe that's why it was attractive as a love potion. So tooth wart likes the forest floor. Um, they, they're kind of a droopy flower. Um, I was here in the shade but now the sun's come out. They will kind of pop up um, if they're in the sunlight but most of the time you'll find them kind of droopy. So I hope you enjoyed uh, learning about toothwort. I hope you can get out into the woods and enjoy the springtime ephemerals. And I hope while you're out, you see something wonderful. This is the Iowa Prairie Girl and Prairie Dog. about toothwort. They are insect pollinated and at the base of each petal there is a spot that reflects ultraviolet light and is visible only to insects. There's your fun fact about toothwort. <laughs>